use a graphing calculator to find the vertex and the x-intercepts of a particular graph. So we need to find some x-intercepts and we need to find a vertex and we need to use a graphing calculator to do so. so this is an extra skill here. So the function is negative 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So I'm going to bring up my calculator here and hopefully we'll be able to see the graph here nicely. So I'm going to turn on the calculator and you can see enough on here I hope to be able to tell which buttons I'm pressing. I'm going to press y equals type in negative 3x squared and then minus 4x and then plus 2 and then I'm just going to zoom this on the standard window. So hopefully we'll see the graph over here. Yeah, we can see the graph. And now in order to find the x-intercepts, we're going to hit the second and then go to the trace button, which says calculate above it. And we're going to find something called the zero, because that's the x-intercept where we cross the x-axis. So after hitting enter now, it should bring me into the graph where I can now move the cursor. It's asking for left bounds. I'm going to move that cursor until it's just a little bit to the left. Hit enter. Then move the cursor till it's a little bit to the right and hit enter. And then hit enter one more time as an initial guess. So you can see that it's locating the zero that's looking like it's at negative 1.72. Okay, there's another x-intercept over here to the right, a little positive value. So let's go second, calculate the other zero we're going to move the cursor until it's a little bit to the left of that zero, and then we're going to move it till it's a little bit right of the zero, and then make a guess. And we can see that that zero is located at 0.387 or 0.39. Finally, on this one, to find the vertex in this particular graph, since it's an upside down or a concave down parabola, our vertex is going to be at the top of the hill. So we call that a maximum, and I'm going to go to that calculate menu, and this time get a maximum. So in order to calculate the maximum, we select maximum, move the cursor till it's a little bit to the left of the maximum, and then move the cursor till it's a little bit to the right of the maximum, and then make an initial guess, and it zooms in on negative 0.67 comma 3.33. So that means our final answers were the x-intercepts were located at negative 1.72 and at 0 0.39 and the vertex was located at negative 0 0.67 comma 3.33. One thing to note is that our parabola happened to be a downward facing parabola. If it were an upward facing parabola, concave up, we wouldn't be finding a maximum, we would be finding a minimum. But in either case, once you draw the sketch, you can tell from your picture whether it's a minimum or a maximum based on the concavity of your graph.